Hi everyone, so this is just an update regarding the ENV200 range extender project. Um, this video is just going to be a quick test video to confirm and show that it's actually working in some capacity at least. What I'm going to do is uh, delete all the other videos about it and I'm just going to re-upload another video at some point after this one to show exactly how I did it. Um, as with all projects um, involving high voltage, you've obviously got to be extremely careful and ideally don't do this unless you fully know how to deactivate the high voltage system and then prove that it's dead afterwards uh, because obviously we're dealing with voltages here which can kill you instantly. So uh, we'll go into the test now which will show the generator um, working, albeit not at its ideal efficiency. Okay, so from that we saw over 3 kilowatts, I think, so that's pretty promising. I reckon that if the generator was to be rewound, potentially you would get more power because actually part of the generator winding is actually producing 12 volts, which is just not connected to anything just now. But if you were to rewind it and connect it up to a proper inverter, which could start the engine as well, and uh, do regenerative, then you'd probably get upwards of four kilowatts so admittedly the van was um, a very low state of charge I think it was only sitting at about 30% so I reckon that if the van was at a higher state of charge you get obviously more power it's, uh, because the low voltage of the well the high voltage battery was quite low so its voltage is going to be lower so it's going to pull the generator um, down uh, so it can't get up to as high a speed because that voltage is holding it down um, so if it was at a higher voltage I reckon it would maybe hit maybe 4.5 kilowatts um, tops but that's a proof of concept it looks to me like a range extender engine can be added to the ENV200 I'm going to add uh, more videos about that um, probably it'll take me a while to do it because I want to make sure I show everything right so it looks like a very promising project Obviously, there's a lot of safety stuff you need to go over and additional hardware that you need, but you don't. It looks like you don't need to interfere with CAN bus in any way at this point. But in future, we'll need to add something which regulates the voltage so that um, when the battery is hitting like maybe ninety percent state of charge, um, it will just automatically back off on the throttle, and if the battery gets even more charged, it will just switch engine off completely until it drops a bit more or or whatever but as for starting engine um, it's obviously going to have to be a manual job uh, for now I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little overview of the hardware here um, this is absolutely essential, do not go connecting stuff to it without the, without these safety features These all this here prevents your pre-charge circuit from being destroyed as well as um, other catastrophes you just do not want um, basically what we've got here is a piece of a circuit board I actually cut this off, this was for a totally different design of this box I've since changed the design but it's got pre-charge relay, pre-charge resistors um, opto-isolators which the relay negative, relay positive and pre-charge signals are connected to and it's currently connected to this external 12 volt power supply however it will go on its own 12, uh, 12 volt power supply directly to the battery so that because I don't want to use the 12 volt power supply that's going to the high voltage battery um, itself because I'm worried in case if something goes wrong here I could short that out and make the van come to a halt um, you don't want that so it'll be on its own fuse um, and obviously the reason I'm using opto isolators and not connecting the relay directly um, into the 
really signals coming from the VCU is because they really might overload those so I'm not taking any chances um, I will put up circuit diagrams for this but it's simple um, no CAN bus magic needed and of course big contactor there um, so how that that will work eventually is um, if anything switches off for whatever reason like if you switch off the van it's just going to disconnect anything, everything and I'll make the generator itself access those signals too so that if any one of if the ignition signal or the really negative or really positive signal goes off if any one of those goes off it will just cut off the engine so um, there's still a bit to do and the high voltage connection obviously you're going to have to source your own this came off a BMW i3 air conditioning compressor so you won't be able to buy this you'll have to use your own so yeah um, this is just so you don't go connecting random stuff up to your battery um, without the relevant hardware and I'll post all this eventually.